ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. Driving with Johnny is coming through. <laughs> Hey, before this video gets started, two things. Watch all the way till the end. There's a message you need to see. And don't forget, you want to check out the best soap in the entire world? Click on the link down in the description section. That's all I'm saying. I'm back. As you saw last time. <laughs> oh, so I mentioned last time I wanted to do a, um, a video on trucker security. There's a story behind that, so let me tell you the story. So, I'm not going to say the name of the places I was delivering, but I was delivering to a large retail store, and um, my delivery was early in the morning. They said that I could park there overnight so that I'd be there in the morning. And it was in an area that it was to my benefit to do so, so I drove there and got there in the afternoon the day before. And I had talked to the manager, the manager was like, yeah, no problem, just park right there, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> you know, the afternoon went by and it turned into nighttime. And I noticed when it was nighttime that in this alleyway, basically, um, this docking area alleyway behind the, the plaza that I was in, it was pitch black. There were no street lights, no security lights, no any lights. It was pitch black. I could look out my window. I couldn't see anything. And the building was like five feet away. That's how dark it was. So I did notice that, but you know, I don't really care. So, you know, when I went to go to bed that night, I rolled up my windows and locked my doors and, you know, crawled into the bunk. And I'm laying back there and I have the vents open because it's nice and cool out. And, you know, it's a lot cheaper not to idle my truck. So I don't idle my truck. I just open the vents at night. And as I'm laying there, I kind of hear people talking, which I find really odd, but you know, it is what it is. So um, eventually I kind of, you know, try not to psych myself out and I fall asleep. I wake up uh, about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes later, my truck kind of moved. I don't know why it moved. And I looked at my mirrors, I couldn't see anything. It was pitch black. I don't know why my truck moved, but my truck. After my truck moved, I could hear these voices, and I could hear like a, like a um. Like on the back of my trailer, so not like on my door where I think somebody would be there. It was like on the back of my trailer. So at that point, I'm thinking in my head, well, it's either bad or really bad or really really bad and do I really want to get involved so my fear was that someone was breaking in the back of my truck which I had a big heavy-duty padlock on and you know we're told we're not supposed to if something like that happens we're just stay in our truck not interrupt them so um, that's what I did but you know I did like rock the truck a couple times took my elbow and and sighed a few times and just did enough people so people would know I was there and every time I did that the knocking sound would stop and the voices would stop so I'd go back to sleep and then I'd wake up a little while later and I'd hear the voices again only this time they're like almost arguing like loudly but I couldn't quite hear what they were saying again pitch black so I would you know whack the side thought about getting out I really did but my fear is I get out, I walk back there, they have a gun, is it worth dying over? I'm out here to make money for my family and not get killed. So, you know, I, I make myself known that I'm in the truck and I rock the truck and I hit the side of my elbow a few times and, you know, everything gets quiet again. So I go back to sleep. This happens pretty much all the way up until about three or four in the morning. Um, waking up like every half hour. That's why my eyes were so bloodshot yesterday. And, um, yeah, by the way, the video I shot was yesterday. This is not today. So, not like you can tell. Yeah, maybe I shot the video on the same day. You don't know. 
but let's just say it was yesterday. So, um, <laughs> so as the night went on, it got more and more annoying. And, you know, I had a flashlight at one point, I flashed it in my mirror to look back, couldn't see anything. But as soon as I did, it got quiet again. So I knew, you know, they knew I was there. So I figured that would help. Um, eventually it did stop. And then about, yeah, I don't know, 5.50 in the morning, I had to go knock on the door. The lights came on for the, for the dock that I was gonna be unloading from came on. So I didn't see anybody out there. So I had to go knock on the door. So I, you know, went ahead and jumped out of my truck and kind of walked up to the door and knocked on the door. And the guy opens it and says, oh yeah, we're ready. Just go ahead and back up to the dock. And I turned to look at my truck. Leaning against the back of my truck was a king size mattress. This is on the back of my trailer. Leaned over a little bit to the side. So, and I didn't realize this, the guy from the store pointed it out to me, but it was basically so it blocked the view of that dock. And there was two box springs also set up against the back of my truck too. So it was kind of weird. Um, it was kind of weird because I don't know what the purpose was. So the guy in the store says, well, you know, there are a lot of, uh, you know, homeless people that come and look in dumpsters and, you know, rattle around here at night. And there's also a rather large drug problem in this area. And it wasn't a bad area at all. And it was way out in the country where you wouldn't think you'd run into problems like this. But he said there's a lot of drug activity at night where people go through and they check on the docks and in the dumpsters and even try to break into the stores and stuff trying to find something valuable to sell so they can buy drugs. So I don't know what I survived, but I didn't get much sleep and it was crazy annoying. And afterwards thinking about it, probably a little bit scary, but it is what it is. So this is the kind of stuff truckers go through all the time. I mean, when we're at a truck stop or a rest area or normal parking for trucks, there's lights everywhere. Like, I'm not used to not being able to see all the way around my truck, except for the right back. And I never feel, like, threatened to get out of my truck to go look. But in this case, I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, not worth it. So, uh, yeah. So that's the story of uh, trucker security, and you don't know what's in the darkness at night. So, just a short one today. Um, wanted to thank you guys for watching. I wanted to say thank you for watching my last video and I want you to you know just tap on that like button or swipe it or bite it or whatever you do bite the like button no don't bite the like button. please don't bite the like button but what I do want you to do is smash that like button smash that like button smash that like button <laughs> and if you're on YouTube share Subscribe, like if you're on Facebook, like the page, follow the page, like the video, share it out. I really appreciate everybody's help and participation and communication. So I'll see you on the next video. My eyes are still red. Look at that. I don't know why.